Good morning, Hoosiers, and welcome to Times News 24-7, brought to you today by Fourth Hawk Consulting, business efficiency specialists. Your local news in an efficient three minutes or less starts right now. I'm Stu Clampett with today's top headlines. Roughly 750 guests visited Forest Park Aquatic Center in Noblesville on Labor Day. That was the last day the pool was open for the season to the public. Kids enjoyed cooling off by jumping into the pool, riding the fast Freddy slide, enjoying the splash pad and more. And thanks go out to our own Betsy Reason for being on hand to share the fun with all of our viewers. 21 high school marching bands from across Indiana are descending upon Fishers this weekend. It's the fourth annual Fishers High School Marching Band Invitational. It takes place from 4 to 10 p.m. Saturday at the Fishers High School Reynolds Tiger Stadium located at 13,000 Promise Road in Fishers. The competition is expected to attract more than 3,500 people. And the Culver's locations in Noblesville and Fishers have advanced to the regional finals in the nationwide Culver's Crew Challenge Contest, where Culver's restaurants compete in the areas of quality, service, cleanliness, hospitality, and community outreach. That's your local news for the day. Let's look at that forecast. The forecast for today calls for a chance of showers and thunderstorms. It will be cloudy with a high near 78. Tonight, that chance of rain continues, mainly before 8 p.m., though. It will be mostly cloudy, dropping all the way down to 59 degrees tonight. Thursday looks partly sunny, reaching up to only 78. And Thursday night, partly cloudy skies we see dropping down to 57 degrees. On Friday, there is a chance of showers. It will be partly sunny throughout most of the day with a high near 75 and an overnight low all the way down to 50 degrees. That's your local news and weather. Sports is up next. Hello, sports fans. Here's everything you need to know today in Hamilton County sports. The Lady Golden Eagles of Garen Catholic players competed in the Zionsville Soccer Invitational this weekend and won their game against West Lafayette Harrison 7-1. The first game against St. Ursula Academy located in Ohio was canceled due to weather, but once the girls were let out on the field, they did not disappoint. And the Garen Catholic Golden Eagles football team beat Marion Academy with a score of 13-7 on Saturday. Offensive player of the game was Benny Perucci with three big catches for a total of 31 yards. That's your local sports for today. For more information on these and other stories, check out our e-edition or pick up a print copy of the Times. For Times News 24-7, I'm Stu Clampett.